Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Obed Potato. This is Hearts of Iron 4. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And in this episode, I'm 90% confident, maybe maybe higher than 90%, um, but I'm pretty certain that we're going to be able to force Serbia to capitulate. That's kind of... That's kind of the whole idea behind this. We just completed mechanized, or early motorized. Not mechanized. Mechanized is way, way up there. 6,060 days to research that. That is crazy, crazy long. Uh, a little bit ahead of tech in this, but 111 days is really not a challenge. That's that's fine. We'll just take that. Um Again, I kind of want to prioritize doing the inventory stuff because there is a lot of good uh, industrial stuff that becomes available in 1960. Oh, poison gas! I didn't even realize that that had uh, had already passed through us. I mean, that's quite that's quite a big breakthrough effect. We should probably get on that as soon as possible. Yeah, I'll get on that. I didn't realize that that was the case. Anyway, as I was saying, there's a bunch of industrial stuff that comes um, in 1916. And that's, you know, that's really, really nice, but I really, really, really want to prioritize, uh, prioritize industry stuff, because that's, that's gonna have the most impact right now. Um, because as you can see, we're at war, and we absolutely need to make sure that we are, uh, we're doing all that good stuff. Anyway, let's, re let's resume our assault in, uh, in Russia, I think. Uh, inferior enemy, yeah, inferior enemy is, uh, is quite a nice little bonus. We've only set it to push up to this river here, um... I'm okay with that, you know? I'm okay with that. There is no river over here, so it's going to be a little bit more challenging to hold this position. But there's a river here, there's a river here, so it's only a couple of uh, provinces that we're going to be without full protection. Um, we're making we're making sh short progress of Russia, should I say. Uh, the only thing that I do worry about is if uh, Great Britain can somehow manage to uh, retake uh, significant swathes of Germany. Um, I am sort of conducting my own little invasion into Germany for some obscure reason. Well, actually, it's not for an obscure reason. It's pretty much down to the fact that, uh... I'll put that on hold for now, I guess, then. Wait until some other divisions are in position. Although, 70% chance winning, or 70, 70 chance winning in there. It's not bad. Um, yeah, the reason that I sort of, uh, took my troops up here is to make sure that Berlin just did not fall under the British, because that would be horrific. Um, yeah, I'm not really interested in the Olympics right now. There's there's much more important things. Uh, only Serbia is close to capitulating on the side of the enemy. There's still an unbelievable, unbelievable battle to be had with the rest of the powers. But Serbia going out would be, would be lovely. Um, I do really feel for Germany, in all honesty. I really, really do. I also feel for my own people who seemingly cannot get even close to the number of weapons and bits of support equipment that they actually need. We're going to probably need to really, really, really radically increase our uh, our number of the number of military factories that we've got. The good news is, is that we can't really get bombed by anything. I mean, there's no real, there's no real threat to, uh, to our military factories that we have in our homelands. I mean, Italy should be on our side, but Again, it's just not, so it's it's another uphill battle, I guess, right? We are giving Bukovina to uh, Romania, so that's going to actually end up losing us two military factories, which is a little bit annoying, but you know what? Fuck it, I don't care. We're going to give this game a second chance. We're going to give this game a second chance. Just come on, join, join the battle, okay? Just join the battle. I'm thinking Romania kind of likes me right now, right? Romania opinion of Austria-Hungary? Exactly. So if Romania joins the battle and helps me... Uh, actually, with Bulgaria, Bulgaria is also uh, supposedly in this war, but I don't know why they're not attacking into Macedonia right now. Oh, yes, no, I do, because they're only part of the... Yeah, they're not part of this war that is... Yeah, we're not the war leader, so we can't call him into this little war, which is very, very, very irritating. Um... And I don't really understand why that's the case, but hey-ho. Uh, if we could capture Luxembourg, I think that would actually polish off this war. And maybe then Bulgaria would get called into this war. Which is the much, much bigger one. Uh, research is done. Let's move on to... We're a little bit ahead of time on all of these things, but I don't think it's gonna... 
really impact it that much. Although I did say that I wanted to get poison gas. Let me get poison gas. That's, you know, a classic of the First World War. Resistance to occupation. Yeah, yeah, there's probably a fair amount of uh, resistance over here. Um, we probably want a military police division that deals with suppression, right? Like, oh, how do I make a new one? Is it? No, it's not at the bottom. There is a way, but oh, for fuck's sake. Ah, is it this one? Yeah, new division. Create empty division. Um, with just military police. Yeah, so you are bad at attacking, but you do give a fantastic suppression bonus. And let's just add one inventory battalion filled with inventory. I think that's all we really want, right? I don't think we want anything more than that. Uh, we'll save this as uh, MP Division. Division. That's how you spell it as well. Perfect. Grand. Let's get a couple of those in basic training. The reason that I'm not training anything right now is because we really cannot devote any... Any, 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 um... Any, any weapons to training up new divisions. Like, we've really just got to, sort of got to a point where we're in trouble. And um, when, when we capture, when we capture all of Serbia, when, when Serbia capitulates, I think we will get some military weapons, because I think that's what you get on, um, on capitulation. But... We'll have to wait and see. What was I going to do? I was going to... Basic training. That's what I was going to do. Goodness gracious me. Uh, yeah, let's get some military police. Oh, I should probably change their thing to... Sure, let's go for that. It kind of looks like military police, right? Uh, yeah, let's add tons of units. As many of these as possible. Uh, now we are going to need some weapons for these guys. But, uh, it shouldn't really be that much. It's just, uh, inventory equipment and a little bit of support equipment. But the inventory equipment should all happen very, very nicely. Uh, there is a... I'll give it a low equipment priority. I don't think it's that big of a deal. I don't think it really justifies a high equipment priority. Not at all, actually. How are we doing on the Russia offensive? The Russia offensive is continuing at a pace that I would deem consistently decent. Uh, we're actually making really, really good progress into Serbia. Uh, Macedonia, not so much. Macedonia is kind of... It's kind of dud, really. There's not really much chance that we're going to win that, I don't think. But hey-ho. Uh, let's begin the offensive up in Germany. We'll see how this goes. I don't expect this to be a very successful battle, but I do want to try and make sure that I can just, you know, help out Germany, if at all possible. It's astounding that France has actually got this many troops to throw around. France is amazingly not being attacked over here. Like, this is... Look at how weak this area is. Look at how unbelievably weak that area is. I presume I get a stacking penalty for this, right? No, I do not get a stacking penalty. That's weird. I have no idea when stacking penalties occur, but I guess they occur sometimes. Um, yeah, okay. Things, things could be a heck of a lot worse. We're going to see if Romania is going to come into the war... Uh, which war they're going to come into, though, I... I wonder. I wonder. I really do wonder. I also kind of want to see if I can just get Luxembourg. If I could just capture Luxembourg, then that might merge the two existing wars that we have together. Maybe after we get Serbia. After we get Serbia, we'll, we'll devote some attention to try and capturing Luxembourg. We'll see if that works. That's a defense. That's an attack. Okay. Uh, there's an inferior enemy. But I, apparently we can we can make the move pretty well over there. That's, that's fantastic. All right. This is really, really good over here as well. I have no idea why we've got 40 of these divisions, like, all stacked up on one of each other. Like, yeah. I mean, I get it. You know, that's good. But it just seems a little bit, a little bit dicey. Yeah. We're currently losing that battle. Let's get you to come down here and then attack into there. See if that'll make a difference. Uh, are these two... I don't know if those are those two are connected, so... Hmm. 
We'll have to wait and see. We are winning. It's gonna last for 193 more days. God, that is awful. God, that is that is truly, truly abysmal. Submarines being completed every day. Well, not every day, but you know, sometimes. Oh look, Germany did actually take advantage of the fact that the French were super, super weak down uh, in that area. Weapons too. This is big. It's not big for any specific reason. It is big mostly because it's gonna be fucking ages before we can even get them anyway. If I was to, for example, upgrade this to weapons two, I think that would be okay. Like, that wouldn't be the end of the world. It would, however, shred the number that we get per day and also take us into the minus numbers of steel that we need per day. That is... That is not so good. That is not so good. Can we cut back on anything that requires heavy usage of steel? Not really, in all honesty. Not really. We're going to have to get some trade going. But I think... Steel might be one of those things that my allies have plenty of. Yes, look at this. Look at this. Four military factories. Sure, let's get that. Surplus of five steel. Um, if we can get inventory weapons two out to, uh, to our troops quickly, then that would put us in a great position. So it seems that down here, France has just devoted too many troops to fighting elsewhere. Like up here. There's a lot of French troops up here, and that that, that is very, very surprising to me. Um... There's also a couple of troops from other nations over in this area, but it doesn't look like any of them are French. But the number of French troops up here, I, I did express my surprise at, because... That's that's a ballsy position to be in. That is a really ballsy position to be in. Um, and it looks like Germany is absolutely breaking the French line in a major, major way here. Like, hugely, horrifically badly. This is... This is big. Oh, a little bit of uh, French territory being recaptured there, but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'm more concerned with Serbia and how things are going over here. We are winning this. 130 days. Really? Really? Jesus Christ. Attrition presence, 67%. I mean, this has got to be where... My manpower must be just, like, going down the drain here. Come on, like, this This is just, this is taking, this is taking the piss a little bit. Like, 67%, I didn't realize it was that bad. I mean, that, that's, that's pretty fucking bad. Oh, God, I don't really want to manually do it, but 67%, mud is giving me plus 70. You go here. Yeah. All right, go here and then attack into here. No, stay here and then attack into there. Yes, that's right. And now we're only on 63% attrition. Hejaz has capitulated. These are dark times. Um, against the United Kingdom, I presume, right? Wow. Yeah, completely fucking wrecked. Yeah, so the Ottomans actually might end up being a little bit of a hindrance. Uh, you sort of have done your job. I'm pretty happy with the way that things are going in Russia, so we're going to stop you from attacking. Don't advance any further, please. Uh, have we got any military police divisions yet? I don't imagine that we do. No, it's going to take a wee while to get them all trained up. Uh, I've stuck them on low equipment priority, so... Let's stick you on that. Reinforcements, yeah, that's fine. You know, equipment really is one of those things that is just so unbelievably challenging to come by. Especially if you fuck up like me and don't build nearly enough uh, military factories before you're ready to invade. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're gaining a little bit of ground up here. Uh, France has got all of these troops, and they don't seem to be doing much at all in this northern area. So, it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens there. Uh, let's get tank prototype. Allows research of tank technologies. I'm not actually that bothered, to be honest. Uh, tank prototype is nice and all, but like... Reinforce rate plus 2%, research time minus 1%, submarine attack. I'm going to take uh, this bad boy here. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Calling Romania to war. How close are we? 14 days away. Okay, so that's like pretty much no time in game time. Serbia, things are 
fucking dicey, but like, god damn. Okay, looks like the mud has, uh, has disappeared, thank god. We probably lost quite a significant number of men due to that, but alas, what can you do? 75 days. 75 fucking days. Why are you not attacking here? Yeah, you are. Perfect. 75 fucking days. God damn. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. Rain, air detection. Doesn't affect attrition, though, which is quite nice. Move over here and attack into there. Yeah. We are going to win this battle. Another two days? Two days for that battle to go on? I'll take that. That's not very long at all. Why are German troops coming down here to help me? Oh no, they're not coming down here to help me. They're just fucking swanning off to some other place. Which is fine, you know, it's fine. Uh, Luxembourg looks like it's getting surrounded, which is bloody great if you ask me. It really, really is. If Luxembourg gets surrounded, then that's... That's fantastic. Surely that must cause some, you know, some amount of troops to be recalled from this area and taken back to defend Luxembourg. Surely. Uh, almost, almost, almost two very, very important battles that said that they were going to end within the end, within the day and, uh, and have so far proven not to end during the day. Romania, when you come into battle, come on, come on. Do it, 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 do it. Do it. Call Romania to war. I can now... GG. GG. Honor our pact. Sure. Sure you're gonna honor our pact, you fucking assholes. You fucking assholes. Sure, get that. Oh no, Romania did come. Which one did they come into? Not the one to, with Luxembourg. But we can now call the... We just gotta have to hope that Germany calls them, right? Because they're not actually... I mean, they're allied with us, but... Unlike some people... Cough, 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 cough. You fucking bellends. Fucking Italy. God damn it. Uh, oh wait, 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 it looks like they were... Were they called into the Serbia war? No, Bulgaria's in that one. Oh, no, sorry, that was... Silly of me. I don't know why they're not being called in here. Like, if we could just call them into the Serbia war, this war would be so much quicker. It would be unbelievably quick. It would be unbelievably quick. Although, something that we are going to be able to do now. Land Vahir Division. Let's get you. Let's get... You, 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 and you. Unassign, 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 unassign. All right, these guys come over here, and then come over here. You guys come over here, and we're gonna try and get our troops into our allied areas, right? Because we can, there's a way to say, we can totally do that, right? But apparently not. We can't even ask military access. That's fucking, that's bollocks. That is bollocks. We can't even ask for military access against our allies. Oh, we can here. We can apparently... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, we'll just go through Serbia. Yeah, don't mind me. It's super easy. Uh, if we guarantee... Well, if we improve relations, is that gonna make it any easier for us to... Uh, Non-aggression packs with Serbia. Well, that's gonna kind of suck, I guess. Which is why he maybe didn't get called into the war. I don't really know why he didn't get called into the war. But Germany should definitely be doing some sort of calling. 23 days, another 42 days. This honestly has been going on for fucking ages. Current phase, hold the bridge. Because that means, that means a lot to me. That means 
fucking lot to me. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, any military police divisions done training yet? Did I set them a, a location to spawn? Yeah, okay, so... Alfold? Of course, Alfold. Uh, no divisions are currently on this route. That's quite alright, because I do not really want them to be on that route. Just get rid of that Garbo route. The battle plan is now pretty much completed. Um, I'm pretty sure that we achieved almost all of our strategic goals in uh, in Russia. And I'm kind of... I'm kind of thinking about just... I'm kind of thinking about just moving all of these troops somewhere else. I mean, it would risk... I don't really want to move them though, right? Because it would risk... It would risk all of this land that we got, and believe me, it's it's prime land that I'm going to use to build many military factories upon. But it, it would risk it getting recaptured by the uh, by the Russians. However, there's a lot of German troops down here. A lot of German troops. A lot of German troops. Looks like there's been a little invasion from Crimea, which is less than ideal, but hey ho. I don't think Russia is even close to capitulating either, so... I mean, I suppose we've not really taken any valuable targets. 70% towards capitulation. That's better than expected, to be honest. When are we researching uh, the thing that gives us breakthrough? Yes, this. 12% breakthrough. That's pretty good. I'm going to take that. I'm going to hope that that is eventually something that's, that we can uh, use. Oh, we managed to capture one single province in Macedonia. Uh, a second province in Macedonia. That is... That is phenomenal. Let's get even more provinces captured in Macedonia. The more, the merrier, really. 18 days, 28 days, 25 days. It's taken a long-ass time, that's for sure. It has taken a long-ass time. If only we had, you know, some allies around this region that would be willing to help us out in our time of need. Crazy, right? Fucking crazy. Uh, but it looks like we're making good gains. Uh, on the, what is this, North East, Western Front. The Western Front, for us, anyway. We're making very good gains. France looks like it's crumbling. Looks like we've pretty much achieved all of our goals in, uh, in heading up here. Denmark, you are kind of... We'll guarantee indep in, uh, Denmark's independence. Sure. Yeah, we're kind of okay with this. It looks like the German army has decided that it is going to try and take back all of its land. Perfect, we just unlocked that breakthrough technology, which is fantastic. That should really, really help us out. Don't really give a shit about tanks. Research time, don't really give a shit about that either. Do I give a shit about any of this? Supply consumption. I mean, I obviously do. This is arguably the best place um, to get stuff. Like, this is a really, really, really good bunch of stuff in there, but I think we really just need to prioritize... Um, prioritize everything else. Land, night attack, whatever the fuck that means. Don't really care about artillery. Don't really care about that. Logistics company. Da -de -do -de -de -do -do. Da -de -do -de -de -do -do. Yeah, not much I really otherwise care about. Um, I'll get first of all. I'll get the um, factory output plus ten percent. I'll get that first, and uh, that should make a little bit of a difference. Man, Germany, you're being very selectively bad, and also selectively good. Yeah, so you've got nothing to do. That's fine. Looks like finally Germany is uh, is deciding to push in and get some good stuff going on. If Luxembourg capitulates, then that is astounding for us. I don't know what the chances are, but probably quite minimal. Germany must be in a really bad place. I mean, they've got so many troops out in the field. I say field, like it's a, a game of, you know, football or something, or American football or whatever, but honestly, it's, uh, you know, it's quite impressive. It's quite impressive the number of troops that Germany have got. Alright, come on. Let's just get this. I, I thought we were going to get Serbia in this episode. I was, like, convinced that we were going to get Serbia. Apparently not. Apparently not at all. Well, I think on that note, we're going to have to wrap things up. Ladies and gents, my name, of course, has been Oda Potato. This has been Hearts of Iron. 
for the Great War. Um, we're going to be capturing back all of Germany, which is going to be fantastic for Germany. Um, they're going to get a bunch of factories back. Uh, yep, a bunch of civilian factories. Maybe a couple of military factories, but I can't really see in the... Yeah, can't really see in these areas. A couple of military factories, I'm assuming. A few more civilian factories. Fingers crossed we'll get Luxembourg in the next episode. I am going to kind of create... Um, more units and train more divisions very very soon indeed but i really 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 just need us to get to the you know a place where we're we're happy and we've got a lot of infantry equipment too but we'll see it's going to happen ladies and gents thank you very very much for watching my name of course has been over potato this has been hearts of iron 4 the great war and i'll see you next time bye